Hey, how you doing out there in YouTube land? This is your best bud, DT. And I'm here with another video. <laughs> yeah, another one. Told you I'd be back. What, you didn't believe me? Now today, I am in the kitchen. My own kitchen, actually. No, 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 hold on. I won't be cooking. Not today, anyway. I'll say that for another video. They'll be up shortly. But something has been in my mind that I want to share with you. Now, I was talking to a buddy of mine and he was discussing that he was going to be cooking for Thanksgiving. And I was thinking, hmm, I sure do miss my mama's candy, yams, mac and cheese, and cornbread. But then I said, hey man, what you gonna do with all that grease? You know what he said? He said he put it in a bucket and then disposed of it somehow. I was so shocked. So then I asked another friend of mine, who was also a big cooker, he said he would just pour it down a drain. I said, oh no. Who else is doing this? Do you know that there is a much simpler and safer way to get rid of cooking grease while living here in Japan? You don't have to travel with it anywhere, just to your trash can after I'm done teaching you how we do it here in Japan. Big ups to Mama T for showing us how it's done exactly. But first, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below this video or the bottom right corner of the screen. So for this video, I want to go over what cooking oil looks like in Japan. Now this is typical canola oil and it goes for about 200 yen. Now obviously you can get it at a supermarket and now you know what it looks like so you don't pass by it when you're in the supermarket. Just take a screenshot of this video if you have to. Save you time and money instead of going somewhere else to go get it. Secondly, I want to talk about how to clean your stovetop. Now this product is called Magic Clean. It goes for, again, about 200 yen a bottle, and it's a degreaser. And now it can easily break down grease on your stovetop and inside your oven. It's very effective and safe to use. In America, we use what's called paper towels. <laughs> But in Japan, they actually refer to these paper towels as kitchen paper. It's true. Ask any Japanese woman, they will tell you, I'm right. And lastly, let's go over how to get rid of all that grease you've accumulated over the week, or two weeks, or a month, or whatever. Now, it's perfectly fine if you have your favorite pot that you like to store old grease in. It might be your grease pot, right? That's fine, we're all guilty of that. But never pour grease down a drain, as it will clog up your pipes, and it will have your landlord or you going nuts because of the plumbing bill. Now back in the 90s, I used to just wipe down a pan with, I don't know, paper towels and throw them away. But if you have a large collection of grease and you want to get rid of it, nah, you have to do a better job of disposing of that. Enter stage right, or left, or whatever for the product called kachili now this is a powder made in japan that turns your grease into jelly yeah i said it jelly 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 get up in my belly although you won't want to eat this jelly <laughs> that'd be nasty now you can get this at supermarkets usually around the same area where the degreaser is at or the kitchen cleaning products anywhere in the kitchen area. Or if you show a store clerk a screenshot of this, they'll be like, follow me, I know where it is, because everyone in Japan uses it. So to use it, first get the grease nice and hot. Now, if it's already hot because you just finished cooking, then it's probably hot enough. But the box instructs that you pour the powder in the pot when it reaches 80 degrees Celsius or over. So if you have a thermometer handy like we have, and this one actually came with this pot, has a little hole in it and everything, I mean, that's cool, right? And yeah, you can even pour the packet in there as well. It doesn't matter. Have fun with it, cause, well, the box says you can do that, and that's what we did. <laughs> Next, after pouring it, mix it up for, I'd say, about a good 10 to 20 seconds. That should be enough. Then you wanna turn the burner off or if you have an IH kitchen, the element, I think that's what they call it. 
Then let the grease cool down and simply wait until the grease turns into a gelatinous monster. Then you can scoop it out and put it in a white or transparent bag and throw that sucker away in a burnable trash because you're done. No more secret nighttime dumps or anything like that. You know who I'm talking about. And the great thing is it's so cheap and it comes with 10 packs in a box. So that's 10 different uses. Now ain't that something? Now for the bonus round, check out this grill here. Now you can also clean this portion of your Japanese stove with that magic clean I was talking about earlier. Now with this grill, you can grill almost about anything that can fit in it really. It's like a standard module, if you will, on every Japanese stove. Now I've personally grilled cheeseburgers on here, fish, and so many other things. Lastly, check to see if your stove has a child lock on it. Now this is what mine looks like, but yours might look different. I have two of them on mine, hooray! One for the grill and one for the burners, because the last thing you want is for your kid to get burnt. Safety first, folks. So check to see if yours has that. And that's it. Now you learned what cooking oil looks like in Japan, what a degreaser for your kitchen stove and oven looks like, what paper towels are called in Japan, how to get rid of a pool of old grease in a cheap and effective manner, and how to lock down your stove so that no one gets hurt. And you learned it all right here. Now isn't that news you can use? Subscribe and comment below if you like, and I'll be sure to answer you back. I don't bite. Ah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. DT out.